Yeah. So this is file handling part two with binary files. So same binary file. It's part two actually. Okay. So what we are supposed to do in this particular demonstration? I am going to create my own class called a student or employee or whatever it is. Okay. And how can I dump? Okay, this information, student information, which I receive from the user into the file. It will be a quite interesting topic. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So see, we have to write a create a class called you know employee. So employee will have you know employee ID, employee name, everything. So I'll be writing you know taking data for the employee for multiple employees, and all the employee details I will be dumping inside my binary file. Once the file is stored with data, I can retrieve the data. Okay, using read operation, so pickle dot you know dump and pickle dot load, so the data will be displayed on the screen. Okay, so this we will see how we implement using Python class. Okay, so let me go to my yeah clean slate. It's my Jupyter notebook. First thing is import. First step is import. Okay, pickle. That's the first. Step. Okay, so second step will be step two will be create a Python object of any type you want. So here, I am going to create an employee class. Okay, so I, that is why I said you know create a Python object of any type you want. It can be string, list, tuple, dictionary, or user defined. I am going to create a user defined class called EMP. Okay, so I go here. I just say class EMP colon. Okay, fine. I just say def define define init. So init is basically some, you know the init method. Which is used for constructing the object. So I just say self dot emp id comma name. Okay, then I'll say self dot okay emp id is equal to emp id self dot name is equal to name. Fine. Okay. Then what I'll do? I'll just create certain you know getter and setter methods. So def I'll just say get name. self return okay name self dot name okay and i want to keep these things as private so i'll put double underscore the okay, double underscore see the data should always be private or protected data should never be public okay so that is why you know i just put double underscore so okay this is the getter method okay for getting the name then i'll just say setter method also I'll just copy. Okay, say you know uh, set set name will be self comma name so that you know this will not return anything. This will just say self dot underscore underscore name is equal to name. Okay, fine. So look at this. This is a constructor which is used for initializing the private fields of an employee object. Okay. So the parameter, whatever we pass, my employee ID, employee name, everything will be set to underscore underscore EMP ID underscore underscore name. And this is a getter method for name, setter method for name. In the same way, I can go for okay getter and setter for age or employee ID. Call it employee ID. Okay, get EMP ID, EMP ID, self dot EMP ID. Okay, then I'll just say set EMP ID. Look at that. I'll just show you down. Just go down. Set employee ID. ID. This will be EMP ID. Right? So I see. Set employee ID. Okay. So we got you know getter and setter methods. Right? So we'll see how we are going to use these things. So now we create a class called employee. Okay, fine. Now you can see here, our uh, employee objects are created. Okay, employee say sorry, employee class is created with init method and get name. Okay, get employee ID, set name, set employee ID. Fine. So just let me run this cell. Yeah, so that you know that employee okay class is okay, created, created. Then I'll come down. I want to take some names and all. So what I'll do, I'll just say. Uh, e1 is equal to emp of i'll just say wrong okay comma employee id will be uh, 101 or whatever it is 101 okay then e2 
E2 will be EMP of, okay, I'll just say, okay, D bar, comma 102, 102, fine. So, these two objects got created, look at this. I'll just show you that. Print E1, E1, comma E2. Okay, so you see, uh, in fact, no, I did not give E1, E2, I should have given, okay, E1 dot get name, okay, and I say E2 dot get name, so that we will get, you know, Ram and Jiva, oh, okay, sorry, uh, I should I should I made some mistake here, see, get underscore name, E1 dot get name, oh, the order in which I passed was wrong, so employee ID and employee name. So, I should have passed, created this way actually. This should be employee, because you look at this. The constructor inside the employee class, it expects, you know, EMP ID followed by name. So, I should have passed the same order. I change the order. So, I will just say wrong. Then, 102 will be employee ID, comma, Jiva. I run it again. Then, I will just run this. Ram and Jiva. Okay, now, I want to, you know, dump this E1 and E2 inside my file. Okay, fine. I am going to use binary file. Okay. So that, you know, the data will be, basically it is in binary format. Basically, when you say binary file, na, the data is written in a bytecode format actually. Bytecode format. But the content will be quite cryptic. It will not be easily readable. Okay. So, what is FP is equal to open. I will just D colon Python slash slash i will use the same file so that you know i'll just you know delete that file look at this so i'll just go to my d drive i'll just say python i will delete this bin file delete in order to delete well, why well, let us see that shift delete yeah it got deleted it got deleted it's not there I will come back to my code, I will just say bin file, comma, okay, I will just say append and binary, append and binary, okay, fine. Now, what I will do, I will dump these two inside the file. So, I will just say pickle, dump uh, e1, comma, fp, okay, and I will just say control c, control v, I will just say e2, Sorry. Sometimes it happens. See, we have opened the file, bin file in append and binary mode. Then pickle dump e1 comma fp. The c1 means you know this object. Okay, in fp and e2 comma fp means you know both the objects will be dumped inside the file. The ram and jiva objects, you know, employee objects will be dumped inside the file. Then I'll close the file. Close the file. Control enter. That's it. Okay. So I'll just Take the file. So I just open the file and show you. Look at this. We got two records, but it's quite cryptic. It's not readable. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just go here. I'll come to the cell below it. I want to read them. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this content again. Control V. This time it will be read, read mode. The same file. Then I'll just say while true because there are multiple records while true try okay i'll just say temp is equal to okay pickle dot load load fp print temp dot because why you put the dot not see when the when you load the data now you get employee record so you have to display the employee name and you know id separately so what I'll do, I'll just say get name, okay fine, then I'll say temp, uh, uh, see later on I'll tell you how to get all the details using a two string method, that's a different issue, but right now I'll just say get name, then temp dot, you know, uh, get employee id, I'll put employee id first, I'll just cut it, okay fine, so look at this. I got these two. Okay, now I am displaying it. Then I will just say accept. Accept EOF error. EOF error. 
I'll just say okay break break fine uh, and you see when the moment it reaches end of the file na end of the file break out of the loop okay then we can just say fp dot close close okay fine I think we have now dumped two records employee even need to now we will check whether this particular read operation with binary format using while loop reads one by one ROM and Jiva records okay let us try yeah we got 101 ROM 102 Jiva fine absolutely fine absolutely fine okay now yeah, I will write one more record look at this I will just say I will just say okay E3 is equal to EMP of okay, Mano or money whatever it is oh, sorry I will just take uh, 103 comma uh, money okay then I got it then I will dump this inside the file okay I just comment it out and I will say pickle dot dump e3 comma fp okay entered now we will be able to see all three records look at this yeah ROM, Jiva and money okay fine so absolutely no problem actually now in this demonstration what we did was we created a new class called EMP okay the EMP class is here EMP class is here then it has got you know init method get name method set name method okay but of course I can add one more method called you know string method so that in enter okay I'll just say uh, underscore underscore str underscore underscore I'll just say self okay return return basically it's a string representation of the object okay return rf raw format i just say name is equal to self dot underscore number name and employee id so first i'll put employee id is equal to okay self dot underscore number emp id employee id fine so you see look at this employee id and employee name okay, they are returned by this particular method i'll just run it how can i use it i'll just show you how to use it i can directly say see if i have underscore underscore string method str method which returns a string format of that employee id and uh, name okay i can directly use you know this e1 e2 and e3 okay look at this e1 i'll okay e1 dot on uh, dot underscore underscore str str method okay fine it does matter so what happened was uh, def underscore underscore str underscore self return employee id employee id is equal to this okay fine fine no problem okay fine so i have uh, let me just check it okay 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 the problem is what is E1? Print E1. Okay. Uh, dot, I'll just say. Okay. So this I don't need. Right? I, I don't need anyway. Anyway, I'll just, okay. I just wanted to show you how all the files were read from the binary file and shown on the screen. Okay, fine. And of course, in this we will do okay in our next demonstration. Okay, this particular thing, you know, I will solve an issue and we'll do it in the next demonstration. Okay. So hopefully we will do it in uh, some other demonstration, okay, with some other concept. Thank you.